Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Mike and welcome back to AXC Garage. My name is Mike and I got Brian right over there. We got another episode here today on a 2000 S2000. Yeah, and uh, this is gonna be a beautiful little light, light restoration. We're gonna clean this car up. We've got a bunch of OEM factory accessories that are gonna go on this car. And when it's all done, I can tell you it's gonna look like it just rolled off the showroom floor. First, let's go ahead and do a quick walk around and see what we have here. All right, so the car really isn't in bad condition. It's got about 63,000 miles on it. And when you look at the interior, you'll see how mint it is. Now the paint is a little bit faded, but you can see here we did a little test panel and it actually we bring back that shine nice and even. So we don't actually have to paint the car. We just have to buff it. And we're gonna be doing that in the end. But there is a couple areas that are gonna need a little paint uh, repair. In this area right here, you can see it's been scraped and there's some dents along the way. So what we're gonna be doing with this is we'll repair it and then we'll blend the color into the door. And then we also have our PDR guy that's gonna go around the whole entire car and take out those dents, paintless dent removal, so there's no paint on the car. So then we have the uh, mirrors right here. These are a little bit too faded to buff. The clear coat is gone. This clear coat is different from what's on the actual car. The plastics are painted at a different facility, so it's not as strong. So we're gonna be doing both of our um, mirrors and as long as the body kit's concerned we have our side scrapes which we'll show you and then we have our front lip now we're going to go ahead and paint our front lip along with our front bumper it has some scratches here and there and our rear bumper as well so if we go and look at the other side of the car you can see that the whole car is in great condition but our headlights are a little bit oxidized and we'll show you just a bit what we have as a replacement all right, so we got a bunch of new parts on the bench here. What do we have here, Brian? So we have the 20th anniversary parts. Uh, they're from Japan because you're not gonna be able to get these, a lot of these parts in stock in the color you want. So they come primer. Now the funny thing about it is, or the cool thing is, it's missing all the felts and all the parts that would be on there if it was painted. So if you come right here and take a look at this package, it actually gives you all the felt and everything you need as far as insta um, installation hardware, uh, which we'll see later in the video. Now, uh, moving on, these are the side scrapes. They come primered as well. And depending on the color of the car that you're gonna paint, they give you the uh, black or the uh, light gray option, depending on what color you have. Uh, then we have the hardware that goes with the side scrapes as well, as well as uh, we have the template here straight from Japan. Now moving along, we have replacing headlights to go ahead and fix those old foggy headlights. And then we have some new badges for the front and for the back of the car. You can't see them, but they're the H badge right there. So moving along, one part that he was able to get, uh, but not in his particular color, it's actually in Silverstone right now is the front lip, but it is brand new. Now what the owner uh, went ahead and did, and many, many of you do, is you went ahead and uh, purchased the uh, rubber gasket. Uh, it's a great way to really finish it off. He knows that we have to take this gasket off, and you can get this from AHC Garage, our Acura Honda Classic, our website, and we sell both on there. As far as the um, application uh, pad is concerned, we also have that on the website as a kit. So everything you'll need, and you'll see that later in the video. So this is gonna get painted as well. So we'll go ahead and we'll get started on getting all the parts off the car.
All right, so the car is right here in the shop, the mechanical side, and we're gonna go ahead and uh, polish the whole car, but first we're gonna use some clay bar. So polish the whole car, and then I'll be over on here doing a little wet sand and buff where I need to to make sure that paint is pristine. So let's get to it. All right guys, we just got a car back from the paint shop and the guy just finished painting the rest of the parts and finished buffing the car and it looks amazing. Let's take a closer look at it. So we're pretty much in the final stretch. We got the side scrape right over there. We have the deckless spoiler Brian just painted. Brian's over there prepping the front bumper. We got a front lip that's already been painted. Brian, my man. Yes. I mean, it's incredible. It's coming out a lot better than we thought. The paint really had a lot of life left in it. And uh, when we took the buffer to it, not even a lot of buffing was needed. Just polish and it, it shined right up. Beautiful. John, what are you working on? I'm getting our tools together to install this rear spoiler on the car. It's not too much, it's just some drill bits, a center punch, a deburring tool, our drill, a rotor broach setup, and our special um, Honda tools for installing and removing the trunk springs. And uh, here's some of the other mounting hardware. And other than that, I think that's everything we need. I got some alcohol wipes as well so that we get a good sticky seal. Everything looks about ready. Let's go drill holes in this beautiful car. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna find this little cutout here in one of the layers of the steel. If you zoom in, you can see it. We're gonna take our center punch, punch the center of that. Then we're gonna drill a pilot hole with this. Then we're gonna use our eight millimeter rotor brooch in order to make a nice perfectly round hole for that. All right, so we have our hole drill. But as you can see, the edge, it's not so perfect. So what we have here is a deburring tool. And this one's specific for steel. And what we're gonna do is just run around here a little bit, clean this edge up just so we don't have any issues with that sharp edge. All right, so I happen to have some Formula Red touch-up paint. This is for my 94 NSX. This is a different red. This is new Formula Red, but here, no one's gonna see the difference. This is gonna do the trick just perfect.
Okay, so now we're ready to attack the front lip and um, we have the molding, the black molding and adhesion promoter. And as always, if you wanna get this pair, you go to www.accurahauntedclassic.com and we sell it as a kit. Comes in black and gray as well. Now the adhesion promoter is gonna make sure that that sticks, that, um, that lip, and it's very simple. All you do is run it on the edge. Be careful not to get it on the front side, but just the edge right here where the uh, tape meets the lip with the uh, adhesion with the, excuse me, the double-sided tape. Hey Brian, what does that do again? I know you mentioned it before in previous videos. Pretty much, it kind of opens up the plastic just a little bit, and when the tape hits it, it bonds. It, it makes it bond together, and without it, it would just be kind of sticking on like regular plastic, but this etches it just a touch, and then it opens it up so that can really, really get a good bond between the two. So pretty much, we'll separate it here, and as in all our videos, I always explain to you guys, you don't want to push the uh, molding against itself or it's very hard to separate. So you're going to work small areas at a time and just gently you're going to put it on. Start at the edge. And we'll just get it started and keep rolling little by little. That looks 100. So we're gonna go ahead and put the felt on the spoiler. Now, if you were to buy this spoiler already pre-painted, the felt will come OEM from factory, but they've included it, and John's gonna go ahead and put it on for us, and that's gonna make sure it has a nice cushion, no rattles, doesn't scratch the paint if you wanna take it off. John? I don't know, you were supposed to do it. Okay. Okay, I'll do it. Okay, weirdo. First, you want to get your alcohol wipe, and you want to gently just clean the surface like so. Why Make you sure do that? all contaminants are off the surface, so you can have a proper bond with your double-sided adhesive tape. Step the one proper is proper adhesion. Step one is completed. You want to do it one more time? We have one more wipe, so step two is to do it again. <laughs> so now we're going to apply our side uh, felt like so. And I get one shot at this, guys, like so. All right, so this part is a little weird. We have our two side holes already drilled, but here, in order to get our placement for these holes, there's no template on the car. The template is lightly placing these here. And here, Then we remove this backing and push it onto the spoiler, the spoiler onto the trunk. Then this will transfer onto the trunk of the car, giving us the whole template for our last two holes. Just like that, it transferred perfectly onto the trunk. So it worked out perfectly, no problem. So now, the only purpose of these two things here is to give us a template to drill the hole for this bolt that's gonna mount from the inside. They've laid down perfectly, so now we're gonna do our punch, drill our hole, and touch up with some touch up paint, and then we'll be installing the spoiler right after that.
All right, so I've already gone and removed the template, and just like we did on the side, I took our center punch and made a divot. That's gonna allow us to use the small drill bit to make a pilot hole, and then we'll use the rotor brooch and put the eight millimeter hole in there, and then we're ready to mount this thing up. All right, so we got all of our holes drilled. We have our touch-up paint on it. Now we have to put the weather seals on. This is uh, has a sticky tape on one side. All we have to do is just get it close to the hole here. Boom. We're gonna put all four of these on all four of the holes. And that's gonna make sure water's not gonna enter into the trunk through those holes. Hey Brian, looking fresh over there. Y'all remember this build, well, build might be done on YouTube, but stay tuned. Right, the spoiler is installed completely. Last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna replace the trunk spring because the added weight of this is not designed for the current trunk springs. So to make sure it has the proper opening and it won't fall back down on your head, we're gonna go ahead and change out the trunk springs. Here are the trunk springs right here. And you can see they mount into the trunk here. Behind here, they clip into a bracket and we need to get this cover out the way so it'll give us access. This is your spare tire cover. We got these little clips with a little lever, quick release. Now you can see the bracketry over here that holds one side of the spring. This is the other part here. We're gonna change both of these out. Now we're gonna pull this out and give us a little bit more access here as well. Tell you what, with the right tools, it's easy. If you don't have something like this, it's not very easy. I've done screwdrivers, pry bars, got my fingers whacked, my face whacked. There's something to be said about having the right tool for the job.
So now we're gonna put a new emblem on here and we've already cleaned off the surface with alcohol wipe. It's just got two double-sided tape, adhesives right here. All right, so we got the car up on the Lyman rack because we are installing something different here. What we got here, John? So we have the side strakes and they mount right here on the car. Really nice. These are hard to come by right now. Um, so we actually had these, if I believe they were in unfinished and we painted them to match the car. So the US version um, is the same exact one and they actually come color uh, coded, mm -hmm. but now these, uh, well, they're no longer available. Oh, they are unavailable. No, they're not yeah. available anymore. So the owner of the car actually got these from Japan. They came out the 20, I think 20th anniversary. Yeah, the 20th anniversary edition. And they actually come unpainted and Brian just magic painted, uh, formula red and now with the process of installing it, right? Exactly. So there's a few, th there's one way to install it, but the factory way wants you to drill a hole and put a clip here in the middle of this. Now, underneath the car, I understand, there is another hole that goes here, which we've already done the pilot hole. And there's another one that's supposed to go here. That's a pretty big commitment to drill a hole on the side of the car. If you wanted to get rid of these or they fell off, it's discontinued, you can't replace it. You got a fat old hole on the side of your car in a visible spot. So, through some of our other S2000 owners, they've showed us that the double side tape that this comes with in the lower mounting holes is enough attachment to have this installed properly without it coming off. So we're gonna go ahead and skip the step where we drill the hole in the side. We're gonna drill the hole in the bottom. We're gonna mount everything else to the factory way. We're just gonna skip this one step and that's just strictly because it's a little bit of a commitment to drill that hole in the side here. So we're gonna go ahead and do that next step. So we have our hole drilled. We have a template that we use to mark our hole, which is right here. It's 24 millimeters back from the body seam to here. And like I said, we put this here, gave us a little template. So that hole is drilled. Next step is we have to take this piece and put it into the body. What this piece does is when you put it into the hole, when you take this and you put it in, it tilts it over and then when you tighten it down, it draws this piece down and sandwiches it and makes a threaded hole in the body for you to attach this lower piece to, like that. So now we're gonna install this piece. We put it in the car, into the body, like this, and then we screw it down with nothing on it, then we take the screw back out, then we install this piece so that everything is tight and in place. So let's go ahead and do that. So now we're gonna put these clamps on right here. Clamps to this body line. Very simple from the bottom. We'll do this side first, like that. We'll catch the other one as well, just so we have it in place. So we put the stripe up and we marked this hole here, and we marked it down here. What this is gonna do is give us a spot to put this on, just like that. Bada bing, bada boom. This is gonna give us 
the place to mount this. As you're gonna see, it's gonna come down here and give us our mounting hole here, and also give us a place to mount this screw to. We're not actually drilling any holes in the body. We're using these as a clamp that's gonna also mount this as you can see just like that so we have all of our brackets set in a rough area where they're going to go on we're going to have some adjustment to do once we get it on there but this is right in the rough area so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and remove our double-sided tape and get ready to install this thing in its new permanent home on the side of this beautiful s2000 must promote the adhesion. And that is how we install these in a less permanent way to the body where we don't have to worry about them. The fit is perfect, everything is tight, it's the way it's supposed to be, but if you ever want to go back the other way, or if you get into an accident and this part's not available because it's discontinued, you can remove it and you won't have a big hole in the side of your car. And that's the way we do it. Is it the factory way? Not so much, but if you talk to other S2000 owners, that's exactly how most people do it. And the fit is perfect. Man, this thing is looking good. You're just doing some detail on there. What do you have? Man, it's about clean up really nice, especially with this Turbo Wax Quick Decal Plus. Man, it's really shining up. I didn't think the paint was gonna have any life left into it, but uh, as soon as we hit it up with just a polish, not even a compound, it brought it back to life, and it's looking fantastic. I love the OEM look. I personally love that look. Yeah. yeah. The front lip, the side, the tailgate spoilers, the headlights, the front and rear bumper completely finished then you bumped out the whole car, really transformed this car. Yeah, and you know, the owner, you know, props to him because he brought everything. Uh, he's our 20th anniversary yes. parts, and he had everything ready to go. He had a good uh, image in his head of what this car would look like in the end, and we just brought it to uh, life. And I gotta say, it was a great mini build. Hope you guys like what you see. If you guys like what you see, make sure you hit that like, thumbs up button, and also hit the subscribe button too. Yeah, hey, and this is another one that we rebuilt because we keep rebuilding this community and we'll see you guys on the next one. See you guys. <laughs>